hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite photographer divanu sosuko so on this video right here i'm going to show you guys how to whiten the backdrop then clean it up and also add an effect to it so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more tutorial videos coming up and also watch this video to the end you actually learn a lot so let's just get started <clears throat> So this is the image I'm going to use, like I'm going to work on, and I shot this image on a white backdrop, but I don't want it to remain like this, I want to add an effect to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this background layer right here, or if you have actually done some other thing and there are layers below, you just create a new layer on top and start working on just the background. So after doing this, I need to group this layer, which I created. So I'm just going to bring this down here and also add a mask to this group, which whatsoever I'm doing on the background won't affect the subject. So you can use the different tools here, quick selection and other tools, but mine, I already had a selection. I selected it already, so I'll just load the selection. So, so once I'm done with this, I'll just add a mask to it you can see here, i've added the mask so whatsoever i'm doing it will affect the subject here while the mask is like this so i need to invert it so whatsoever i'm doing it will only be on the background not the subject so i just hit my command i you can now see so after doing that i will now come down here and select the background copy layer so i'll get to my the um, background which I want to use I'm just going to pick the move tool then I'll drag it to my image I'll just hit OK so after doing this I will transform it command T just to size it to how it will fit this picture right here so I'm going to take this up and I'll make sure it actually sets well so I think this is fine. I'll just eat here. So you can now see the upper part is actually white and has no stain, but the down part is actually dirty and it's not looking really nice and clean. So once I'm going to do, once I, like after bringing this here, I'll now come down to this background copy layer. I'll now pick a mixer brush, then I will start brushing the down part of the background just to make it look nice and clean so you just pick a mixer brush you can see the weights are 30 the everything is at 30 so you just brush so just to make it a little bit clean so once you're doing yours you need to take care of it it's actually a tutorial video that's why i'm making it this fast so i think i'll just stop doing so once i'm done brushing it after doing that you can see the down part is still looking dirty and there's a bit of yellow in it so just to make it clean i'll come to my black and white i'll click on the black and white you can now see it's actually clean so after clicking on the black and white i don't need to adjust anything here so i'll just leave it like that then you can now see it actually clean but the color is not matching the upper part of it so the upper color and the down color is not matching so i'll just add brightness to it so i'll just take this slide yeah i think that's good so after doing after doing that you can now see the effect is actually looking really nice and smooth so but if i zoom into my the background I brought it actually looking sharp and competing with the picture so I'll just have to blow it a bit so I use the Gaussian blow and I'll use the radius 5 to blow it after doing that just hit OK and yeah you can see the background is really looking attractive so and I also want to add a reflection down here so this is what I'm going to do. I'll come right here. I'll now close all this layer. Then I'll just select just the image. So after selecting just the subject, 
I will now duplicate it, which is going to duplicate only the subjects for me. Then I will now take this up. Then click on my command T. Then right click on it. Then flip it vertically. So I will now bring this down. I think that's good. Then I will hit right. Then I will now come right here and reduce the opacity to 35 then the fill to 45 so after doing that i'll also add a little bit gashion blur to it i'll use the same radius 5 and i'll just hit ok after hitting ok i'll come back and open this layer right here so this is how i actually got this effect so you can now see the before and after the before and after of it so thank you guys for watching this video i really hope it was helpful please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos coming but for now bye